The contamination audit is to be performed at the point of collection, after the cleaning staff are finished with the bins. All the core recycling streams require a contamination audit to improve their data quality score. This includes paper, cardboard, food organics, and mixed container recycling. Check that the scale platform is not touching the wall or ramp and that the scales have been properly teared to zero. Place the bin on the scales correctly with all wheels on the platform. Ensure that the bin is not leaning on anything and that no one is touching the bin before taking each measurement. A drop sheet or tarpaulin large enough to take the contents of the bin is used for emptying the bin contents to be sorted. Depending on the contents, it may be advisable for the assessor to empty one organics bin into another and sort for contamination as you go. Weigh the empty bins. You are trying to find the typical weight of an empty bin for every service at this location. Bins of the same type might weigh differently depending on when or how they were made or any accumulated damage or residue. Weigh each bin after it is emptied and calculate the average weight. Separate and weigh the contamination. You will have confirmed what items are contaminants with the facility that accepts the waste. You will probably need to use containers to sort materials. Make sure you subtract the weight of your containers from the gross contamination weight. You must photograph each bin's contents and the separated contamination. To ensure consistent data, use scales that weigh to an appropriate number of decimal places. Make sure scales read zero before each measurement. Follow correct weighing procedures for every bin. Record all weight in kilograms. Note whether the weights are generally consistent within each bin service. Perform all the required calculations. Then input the results on the audit page of the Neighbours Waste Management Platform.